Well, good morning, scrapbooking friends. This is Barbara from Scrapbooking with Barbara, and um, I'm getting ready for a workshop that I'm gonna be doing tomorrow night, Wednesday night, and I thought that while I was prepping for it, maybe I would do this little demo of our uh, border maker system. Um, the border maker system is one of the best tools that creative memories ever came out with it's been incredibly popular um, and part of that has been because cm has committed to release different cartridges for this system and um, they're quite collectible so people um, really really enjoy uh, getting all of the cartridges as they're released um, we pretty much get at least one if not two or more per month <clears throat> So um, I just wanted to spend some time showing you how to use the system if you haven't um, done so before. So the border maker system, when you purchase it, you uh, purchase it with a paper holder, um, a cartridge holder, and then you're going to get the, uh, what they call the picket fence border maker cartridge, which I did not pull, <laughs> um, but it looks like a, a picket fence um, and it's actually very, very versatile because you can um, cut strips of, of thinner paper and weave it in and out of the, um, the fence openings. Um, it's a very, very adaptable and um, versatile cartridge. Um, it comes with that cartridge, plus you get to choose from, an, from an, another cartridge. And um, those selections sort of change depending on what CM has available. So when you go to order the system on the website, Site, you'll have a drop-down menu and you'll be able to choose um, your second cartridge. So you're getting, again, the paper holder, the cartridge holder, and then two cartridges, one of which will be um, the picket fence cartridge. Um, and the way this all works is you first are going to open up, if you look at your paper holder, there is a blue plastic piece. Actually, this is a little bit of an older um, border maker system. This is from sort of the old CM. If you purchase one now, you'll see that um, the magnetic holder is going to be blue and this is going to look a little different where it's gray. It's going to be blue, but you're going to have a paper holder that's going to come out, flip out, and you lock it in place. And what this does is it acts as the guide to hold your paper, to put your paper in the perfect position so that when you go to cut it with the cartridges, um, everything's gonna line up perfectly. Um, so what you do is you open up the magnetic paper holder on the top, and then you're gonna slide in a piece of paper, and you're gonna bump it up right to the edge of um, this little shelf. And then this goes down on top of the paper and you'll hear it click in place because there's a very strong magnet that's then going to hold that paper right um, as you um, you put it. So then you're going to fold back the guide and you're going to be set to go. And another thing I'll point out is that on this edge of the um, system, you're going to see these little grooves. And these grooves are important because the feet of the cartridges are going to fit into these grooves and that's what's going to guide the cartridge to make the cuts in the appropriate um, place on the paper. So then you're going to take your cartridge holder and I'm going to be using our newest climbing vine um, cartridge. And again, these cartridges, they come out with new ones um, a couple times a month. Um, oftentimes they're going to coordinate with um, a collection that's been recently released. Um, and so what you always are going to do is you're going to take the creative memory side and you're going to slip that going into the cartridge holder. So when you're all set, it's gonna pretty much lock into place. You're gonna see the actual design of your cartridge um, right in front, and you'll see those little feet that I talked about. Um, they're actually two different sizes, and they're gonna correspond with the, come here, two different sizes of these grooves. So um, when you go to, to cut, those feet are gonna fit right in to the right place, okay? So now you're all ready to make your border. 
And I'm just going to remove the mat so that this is flat. The ideal place to do your cutting with a board and make your system would be um, on a very firm surface. In my workshop, I have a, a wooden buffet table that I've used for years as sort of our cropping station. Um, the plastic tables are okay, but believe it or not, they do have a little give, but we're gonna just keep our fingers crossed that we get a, a good smooth cut today. Um, because I've got it all set up with my camera right here on the plastic table. Um, so what you do is the paper goes into this slot right here. So the paper goes in there and you're gonna move it until you feel it click in place. Another way to line up everything correctly is that there's a little notch right here on the cartridge holder and there are notches along this area of the border maker system, uh, or I should say the paper holder. So when those notches line up, the feet underneath are gonna line up too. So once you have it in place, you simply press down on it and then you're gonna move it to the next one and you're gonna feel it line it up here on the top but you can feel it um, engage in the bottom i'm going to do another cut and you should be able to just move the cartridge holder along the edge of the paper holder and as you can see we're getting this beautiful climbing vine border that separates out from um, the paper all right so that's how Basically, this works. Now, something I did want to point out is there are kind of two styles of border maker cartridges. Um, this first style basically um, will cut a freestanding border. So when you're done with your cut, your border just separates right off of the paper that you chose. That's a little different from um, this particular uh, cartridge, which is a clouds border, and you can see that it has a straight edge to it. And that's going to signify that you are going to get to cut your um, paper after you've done the decorative edge. You can cut it to whatever width you want using your 12 inch trimmer. And I'll show you really quickly how that works right now. So we're going to switch out our papers. And in an effort to spin, spin down my stash, I'm really trying hard to use uh, scraps from a long time ago, so I really can't even tell you what papers I'm using. Um, we're going to take the cloud uh, cartridge and we're going to put it with the creative memory side going into the cartridge holder. And then we're going to line it up just like we did before, and we're going to go along and punch across the edge. And you can see that it's making a decorative edge, but that edge, i got to line that up, that edge is the decorative piece. And when we take the paper out, it's not like the border is falling by itself. Um, separately. So you get to choose how wide you want to make uh, this border strip, which is kind of nice. It's a nice option. So a standard border strip oftentimes is anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half. I'm just going to cut this with my 12 inch trimmer at an inch and a half. So I'm going to line it up right here at the inch and a half. If you can see that, I'm going to, whoops, bump up the, the tallest cloud right there. I'm going to put this down and I'm going to make my cut. So if I had wanted to make it um, wider, I could have just used it the way it is. I could, put, could have put pictures on it like that. Um, but now I have a more narrow border strip and I can go ahead and use that on my layout. Um, so the thing that's really nice about the border maker system is the versatility, um, the fact that you can layer these, you can do shadow treatments where if I wanted to punch another one of these garden vines, um, or climbing vines rather, in like a darker green, I could layer them slightly ajar so that you'd get a shadow effect. Um, so many things that you can do. And as I said, they're constantly updating and uh, giving you plenty of cartridges to play with. So I hope you'll take a look on my website. Um, and it's a, it's a great system. I don't think anybody that's purchased it um, in the past has regretted having it. 
um, and it is a very collectible uh, system so that you'll want to um, get all of the cartridges as they come out um, with each new release. So that is it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching and uh, feel free to check out my website and take a closer look at the border making system and the cartridges that are available today. Take good care. Bye-bye.